Hi, Match is back here at Gallery Furniture. We opened up Gallery Furniture North Freeway and Gallery Furniture Grand Parkway in Richmond, Texas as warm shelters for people to get out of the cold. So many people in the Houston and all over the Southeast Texas area don't have heat or light. Uh, their power is totally off and uh, lots of need. So we opened up the both stores as shelters for the storm. A lot of people coming in here to warm up, grab something hot to eat. And uh, then they're going back home with hopes the lights coming back on. Many as well are sleeping here all night. That's why we're giving up these uh, not very pretty, but very functional furniture blankets for people to sleep with all night long. So we're doing this at both Gallery Furniture North Freeway, Gallery Furniture Richmond. And we got lots of people here. Obviously, the idea is to keep people warm and uh, safe. We're also very strict on enforcing our mask protocol, which I'm not wearing right now because I'm doing this uh, little uh, bit, but we are in strict on enforcing the mask protocol. We got lots of hand sanitizer as we're battling not only the cold, but also COVID. So trying to keep everybody safe. So far, it's been a great day. Texans do best when times are tough and we all come together. We forget about our differences. We focus on our similarities and our similarities. We all want the best for ourselves and our children. We're thrilled to have all these people here today. There's lots of people here. There's lots of sofas for them to sleep on, lots of mattresses for them to sleep on, lots of recliners for them to sleep in. And we're going to be here all night long for tonight and probably a couple more days after that. Lots of food, lots of uh, television, and lots of camaraderie as we all get through this together. One thing I've learned in my life here in Houston is that tough times never last, tough Texans do. Together we'll get through this together and be better on the other side. My lights are off, I have kids, and we're just trying to stay warm and get as much as help as we can. And it's freezing cold in my apartment. I was looking for shelter early in the morning and I heard the radio station so I made my way over here and I came to find out that Mr. Mack is doing a good thing for the community. So here I am. The cold snow and uh, ice, the ice started coming in Sunday night and then uh, Monday was uh, pretty bad. Monday night was terrible. We wanted to open the store too as a warm shelter on Monday night, but because the roads were so bad, it was logistically impossible, dangerous to get people on the road. So we've asked people to come out all day Tuesday and they've certainly responded. We got getting lots of people from the immediate area because it's a very high density area. People ask me all the time what type of people are coming in. We got lots of families, got lots of senior citizens, and lots of people looking for shelter from the storm. So uh, it's been a, uh, a uh, trying day for a lot of people, but hopefully this warm place with lots of comfort and lots of comfort food can make them feel better and help them get through this terrible uh, freezing uh, ice and snowstorm we've had down here in Houston because we're certainly not used to that. We're used to 70 degree weather in February and this nine or 10 degrees is uh, tough on us. When it's night, the temperature drops. So it gets even more colder. So it doesn't matter if you light candles or whatever, you're still cold, very, very cold. Hurricane Harvey is very similar in the fact that so many people were displaced out of their homes. In Hurricane Harvey, they were displaced out of their home because of rising water and uh, some of them had to wade through water three or four feet deep. They came in all night long, so Hurricane Harvey was uh, perhaps a little bit more traumatic, but this was uh, just as traumatic in different ways with the terrific cold and then people having young children at home with no heat, no water, no electricity. Very, very difficult. So uh, both situations, Harvey and this storm, we've opened up our doors and uh, our team members have come in on their day off uh, to help and respond and make people feel good about themselves and make sure they get a good night's sleep here. And we'll be here for the next several days because we have a responsibility to give back to this great community that's done so much for all of us. It's really a good community thing for everybody to come together as, you know, as, as a city, you know, to come enjoy everything, the food, the, 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 the things that Mr. Max doing for us. So yes, I think it's actually a good thing what he's doing for us. The customers loved it and it was great Mexican food. Uh, what did you bring us last night, 1,200? 1,200 tacos and empanadas. 1,200 tacos and empanadas. The food is impossible to find. Every restaurant in Houston is closed because of the, uh, the power outages all over the city, the ice storm, the, uh, the snow. So these guys came through with great food and made all the customers very happy before they went to bed on those tempur mattresses at Gallery Furniture. We were not prepared at all for any of this. So it's like within five or 10 minutes, you could lose your life. Anything bad can happen within five or 10 minutes. You know, we had a lot of challenges today. Uh, number one, the water going out with no toilets and some of our incredible team members went down there and poured water in the toilets and flushed them all day long. 
They did it for about 12 hours. Now we've got porta cans out front because the water's still not working. That's been a challenge. Uh, been a challenge getting food in here. We've got a lot of great vendors that uh, got us uh, tons of uh, bottled water. We've got uh, lots of uh, meat coming in, hamburger buns, hot dogs, those type of things. Getting the restaurant people here to, to make the food all day and all night long was a challenge, but they responded like true champions. So the strength of the human spirit never ceases to amaze me. And throughout this tragedy, I keep being inspired by people who come in here with their children, yet they have a smile on their face and they know that things will get better. I've been sleeping here for the last three days anticipating this problem and uh, we're ready to go. It's going to be a uh, long night tonight, but hopefully a lot of people here will get a great night's sleep and get ready to face the challenges of tomorrow. I'm sure we'll have challenges tomorrow. Our store in Fort Bend had a pipe burst and water everywhere, but our team is cleaning that up, getting that ready and back to go. So again, we're, we're ready for any and all challenges, but the biggest challenge we're here is make people happy and make sure everybody's safe and secure here all night long. Hi, Mattress Mac here with Regina, James, Eliana, and our friends from Soul Side. What did y'all bring on the food truck for all the people that are getting out of the cold and no power in their home or at Gallery Furnace? What'd you bring? Korean fried chicken wings. Korean fried chicken wings. Korean fried <laughs> chicken wings from Soul S E O U L Side Soul Food. Soul yep. Side wings. I can't wait to get into those Korean chicken fried rings. A great donation to these wonderful folks. We hope the electricity turns on quickly in Houston so everybody can go back home. But right now we got about 300 customers in the store. They're having a good time and we're here for them because it's all about unity and community. Thanks to Soul Kitchen for these Korean fried chicken wings. Yay! All right, Roscoe's been here helping us get this water to flush the toilets the old-fashioned way. What's the process, Roscoe? Yes, sir. We fill up the 55-gallon uh, trash cans, fill them up full of water, and then pull them back in, slowly but surely. And the water still, let's see, it, still it works. Yes, sir. All right, it still works. They said don't drink the water in Houston toilet, but we're using it for the toilets. We're we using it to flush the toilet, there. absolutely. We're <laughs> boiling the toilet with the water. We're praying the pipes don't burst like they did, they did at the other store, but right now the toilets are working, and that makes everybody that works here and all the great people that are here for the, uh, because their power went out very, very happy. Uh, the difference between darkness and light, you know, we, we want to be a point of light. Uh, my, uh, one of the people I really admire in my life, George Bush, gave out the Points of Light Award. And it really is true that in, in light is truth and good things and darkness is bad things. So people in the cold, dark home, are they're suffering, they're lonely. And we opened up this furniture store to help them uh, come out and enjoy the light, enjoy some good food, enjoy some camaraderie, and know that people care about them. So it's just, it seemed like, Every time it's a problem, instead of the correct people coming, is Matt coming to help us. And I don't think it's fair to him neither, because, you know, it, it's not his job, but it's just in his heart to do it. So I really appreciate it, and it just shows that he's a, a phenomenal person. You're here on Wednesday evening, Ash Wednesday evening, of the great freeze and great uh, power outage at Gallery Furniture and all across Houston, all across Texas. As you see, a lot of people came to Gallery Furniture to uh, Take advantage of the free food, the hospitality, and uh, probably a lot of them will be here tonight for a great night's sleep on a Tempur-Pedic mattress. I'd like to thank many people who made today very uh, successful. Doug Elliman of Texas Realty, he brought out 350 sandwiches and salads from Houston's favorite deli, Antoine's, to feed all the people here at Gallery Furniture at the warming station and at the hospitality station and at the mattress station. I'd like to thank our great mayor, Sylvester Turner, and the Houston Public Works. They donated an entire pallet of uh, bottled water, which means so much now that the water is out, obviously. 400 hot meals, 200 tacos, 1,000 masks, and lots of other great things. And hand sanitizer as well. We had face painting here today for the kiddos, balloon artists. Uh, they came out to entertain the kids. We'd like to thank all of them. We had Houston characters and superheroes come out and do an, uh, do an Elmo and, and Paw Patrols uh, show for the kids. Uh, thank you for Elmo. Pop Patrols, thank you to the great face painters and the balloon artists that were here as well. Lots of fun here at Gallery Furniture Day on Super Wednesday as we uh, can't wait to get all these Houstonians and Texans back in their home with their own power and electricity. Uh, our generator keeps working out there, that's why we're open. I'd like to thank all of our great law enforcement, been here all week making people safe. Quite extensive, thank all the Gallery team members who came in and worked all day long tirelessly. 
helping the people that are uh, displacing their homes because no water, no electricity, no power. And thanks to all the volunteers, we've had some super volunteers, a real bright spot, the volunteers who put their time, effort, energy in cleaning the place up, making sandwiches, uh, making deliveries, helping out during this uh, busy last two days. Mattress back here with my friend Trey the Truth. Trey is in the house. He's here to greet all the people at the Gallery Furniture Warming Station. We're thrilled to have you here, Trey. Appreciate you having us. I always shout out to Mac. I tell him, teamwork makes the dream work, man. But um, definitely want to salute him. Every time a disaster happens, we always find a way to make sure we connect like Voltron, man. So what he's doing now is housing a lot of people throughout the city, man. And I have to commend him and I always come to salute him. And we just, we inspire each other and keep pushing each other. So at the same time he salute me, I'm saluting him the same way, man. Legendary Houstonian in the house. He does so much for so many people. And he's gonna go meet a lot of the people that are here at the Gallery Furniture Warming Station and make their day. Gallery Furniture, power outage day number four. I'd like to thank all the great people who are here today at the Gallery Furniture Warming Center. A lot came in to get a uh, warm up, to get a hot plate of food, and then they went about to their job, their home. A lot of people getting their lights back on. Hooray for that. A lot of people getting their water restored. Hooray for that. And a lot of people are going to be uh, still out of uh, lights, out of water, out of power, electricity. They'll be here tonight at Gallery Furniture with us. So another uh, big night at the furniture store. People enjoying these sofas, mattresses, getting a great night's sleep. Thank you for coming to Gallery Furniture. We hope to make your life better. What happened today on February 18th, one week after my birthday? We started off the day with a great session with Houstonian Michael Strahan, Good Morning America, talking about the brave people of Houston who are fighting through this power outage, fighting through the lack of electricity, lack of power, lack of water, and how we're coming back strong. And then Lucille's want to give them a big shout out. Lucille's donated 200 meals and they fed over 500 people right here at Gallery Furniture. We had entertainment for the kiddos live with singers and face painting. Some guy did a song about a dinosaur. It was dynamic, dinosaur. Dan, I think he called. Rob Allman with Nest gave him a big shout out, shout out in southern New Jersey. Rob Allman with Nest paid for nearly 400 meals. We fed our great constituents here today, people here during the uh, snow and ice uh, problem we've had in Houston and the lights going out, the power going out, the water going out. An amazing donor in Miami who wanted to remain anonymous donated $25,000 of gallery furniture to help gallery furniture distribute, distribute mattresses to those afflicted by the details of the storm. The tales on that will come soon. And remember, at Gallery Furniture, we're remaining safe during this power outage event with people living here. We're wearing masks. We're using a lot of hand sanitizer. And of course, we're doing social distancing. And remember, we'll be here all night long helping uh, people get a great night's sleep. They're still displaced from their home because of the power outage, electricity, and the uh, power is out, no heat. And also, their water's turned off. They're still here at Gallery Furniture. If you need a place to stay, come up here tonight. We'll get you a nice, comfortable 10 feet mattress or a sofa to uh, lay down on. So you'll get a great night's nice rest. Be ready to go back tomorrow, work tomorrow, spend time with your family tomorrow. Hi, Mattress Mac here. I'm here with my friend Sasha from World Central Kitchen and Oscars from Tarasco. And these incredible people are serving our law enforcement officers down at the Harris County Jail. 500 meals win. Tonight at 5 p.m. 500 meals tonight at 5 p.m. I'm already hungry. 500 meals win tomorrow, Oscar? Yes, tomorrow morning, lunch, and, and tomorrow for dinner. Uh, 1,500 meals to the Harris County uh, jail employees and the workers down there because they've been working nonstop since the ice age and the uh, power outage started. I want to give a huge shout out to uh, everybody, to Sasha and Oscar and their respective companies for this incredible gesture. Not 500, not 1,000, but 1,500 meals. Let's give them a big hip, 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 hooray! Right. Try it again. Hip, 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 hooray! All right. Friday started early at 5.30 a.m. with CNN's Natasha Chin. We had a great interview with CNN, and they talked to a lot of our great guests here. The guests were spectacular, so authentic, so real. Uh, also, we were serving hot breakfast, tacos, and fresh donuts to the many hundreds of people who stayed overnight, Thursday night to Friday morning. Nan Properties bought more tacos, and I spoke with Lester Holt from NBC Nightly News. We had a number of food donations. 
brought in, of which we are so, so grateful, and I guarantee you there's lots of hungry people coming by Gallery Furniture every day. John Wall, I want to give you a big shout out with the Houston Rockets. He fed all of our guests Thursday night a mountain, I mean a mountain of Whataburgers. Whataburgers, what a chicken. It was great and everybody just loved it. Kudos to John Wall. And now he's bought more meals for everybody that we're giving out today. We started our post-crisis response starting Friday by giving away two to four cases of bottled water to everybody. Got a giant line out there waiting to get in right now. We've got bottled water, we've got free food, hand sanitizers, free sweatshirts and jackets while they last. And now we're focused on the post-freeze uh, effort by making sure that everybody has plenty of fresh water and plenty of food we're giving away every day at Gallery Furniture. Thanks to all of our guests who came here. Thanks to all the Texans who were so brave, so resilient, and got through this crisis together. The best thing about Texans is when a crisis happens, we all pull together. We don't worry about differences. We focus on similarities, on shared interests, and our shared interest was to get back home. Thanks to everybody who worked so hard to get the lights back on, get the water running again. People have gone back home, they're happy, and now the post-relief effort is to get Texas strong and dynamic again as it was before the crisis hit. We appreciate everybody who came to Gallery Furniture, appreciate the thousands of people from around the country calling and sending in donations, sending in truckloads of water. We think appreciate the mayor sending a truckload of water out here. So we're giving out water and food every single day. Come by and see us. We'd love to shake your hands. And together, as always, Texas gets through the crisis. It comes out better on the other end because we found it the light. We found the light at the end of the tunnel.